this. You know what I mean? What? It's cute. Top button. Top button. <laughs> Top button. Dear Michael, we have finally made it. Through all the uncertainties and unknowns of this year, the only thing that I was sure of was marrying you. I Dear Samantha, I cannot believe today is the day. You have always stuck by me and supported me through the tough times of law school and long hours studying for the bar. After that, I know you are my rock. We make a great team. I love how you've been a part of my family even before we were engaged. I am so excited to see you down the aisle in your fitted suit and walk up that aisle hand in hand as husband and wife. I love you with my whole heart. I cannot wait to see how beautiful you're going to look walking down the aisle. We have a wonderful life ahead of us. My gift to you represents our future together. I hope you like it. I love you, I love you, I love you. Love, Mike. <laughs> we have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Michael and Samantha, so let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, as their brothers and sisters. Join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. Michael, do you take Samantha to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad? I do. Samantha, do you take Michael to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do. Yeah, I think they should kiss each other. So I'll <laughs> right now pronounce you husband and wife. Kiss each other. Mike and Sam today, and uh, you know it's been a tough year. And, you know, I know they've been kind of working on this day for a long time. And it's not exactly what they wanted, but it, it's turned into a beautiful day and a beautiful week. And Sam, I want you to kind of hang out for a second. These are the three minutes that you're having that plan probably for the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> for one second. Right. The angel in my life. There's that moment where I found out like he really does love Sam that much. <laughs> and for me, I just think of a recent story where we're all hanging out in Fire Island. I know there's a lot of family here, believe it or not. Like, Mike was 
not always sold out for as well as we will bank up, get chicken wings or whatever. So it's calling, it's not calling, it's calling, it's calling, bro. Me and Casey are there and we're like, who are you calling? We're 30 straight calls. <laughs> And uh, the time this back, it, it kind of made me realize, you know, Sam was really like this guy because despite all the gibberish, she answered the call every single time. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't wish for a better brother-in-law, Michael. Oh, Jolly, <laughs> are you just an over respectful guy that you bring so much fun and laughter to our family and get together? Plus, you clearly love my sister for putting up with all of us, so I happily welcome you to the family. It's true. It's my honor to rise this class in commemoration. For the last five, nearly six years, you've already committed to each other. I love you both. Congratulations. If you really know Sam, as we all do, you know that she's a meticulous planner. She runs a really tight ship. Um, when she started planning this wedding at the age of six, I don't think that she could have foreseen what was to happen in the year 2020. But while love is patient, Sam is not. Sam was not going to wait one more second to become Mrs. Giacano. So I am supposed to give you some sort of advice right now, and um, but I don't think I'm going to person for that. But we did meet an older gentleman at Sam's bachelorette party. His name was Gerard. He knew that Sam was a COVID bride. So by the end of it, he said, you know, honey, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade and spike it with a little bit of tequila. And that's a good recipe for life. Since Sam and Mike have taken this really rotten 2020 lemon and turned it into delicious lemonade, I decided to spike it for you all so that the guys are handing you all shots right now.